Can you talk about the relationship between a compressor and a limiter, how they're similar and how they're different? What makes them different? Why do I need both? So the, the, the goals that you're achieving are slightly different. The, the compressor is a tool that just generally um, reduces the dynamics of your signal. So what you want to do with the compressor is that you, you bring the signal into a more compact dynamic range. So to reduce the dynamics a bit, to make it sound, as I said, more compact, and also to make it, if you play it back on different, um, on different media, like a mobile phone or, or even in a car or so, where you have limited dynamic range, just in, according to the speaker system, you make sure that the song is still sounding good and not that the quiet parts are almost inaudible and the loud parts are kind of um, crashing your ears. So this is, this is kind of taming the overall dynamics of the signal. Um, with the limiter, you want to make sure that the signal... And if you, for example, apply a compressor, it doesn't mean that the loudest signal parts cannot be clipping or, you know, go over zero dB. With a limiter, that's the main reason why to use a limiter. You, you just want to make sure that you don't have a hard clipping signal. So what, this, what the limiter, like a, what a classical limiter is doing, it just looks at the signal um, level. And as soon as you reach zero dB, it starts um, rounding it off. Like, so that, how do you say that? So that it doesn't just cut the signal at zero dB, but you kind of get a smooth transition between slightly below zero and uh, zero. Um, and another thing that you're typically doing with the limiter is that you're having an input gain. Uh, and with this input gain, you kind of move the, the peaks of your signal to hit the limit. So you're using the limiter normally to, I mean, you could either just use a limiter as a kind of safety net. So that if you, if you go over a certain level that it, it doesn't clip, but normally you would kind of um, set the limit like minus one dB and then you to use the gain and you can see that in the visualization and then you deliberately and you can actually see what's happening so that this, the, the light gray is the input signal this is the gained input signal the dark gray is how the signal would look like without limiting if you would if, if it would be possible to display stuff above zero dB and the red is the is the limiter and the, what you want to do is you you squeeze the signal a bit into the limit so that your the peaks of your track are tamed and the whole signal itself becomes louder. And that's what you see in the in the in the loudness. Um, by, by moving, kind of by taming the peaks, you 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 gain a, you can add gain to the whole signal, which makes it get again more compact and more homogeneous if you play it back on different systems. All so right. probably if you put it like this, if you would have a compressor with infinite ratio and zero attack, this would be a limiter. So, because then you would make sure that you don't go over a certain over the threshold that you've set.